Hey everybody, Paul Wooten, Wagon Wednesday once again. Today we're actually going to talk about some larger scale um, wagons. Um, we're going to start off by showing you this Racing Champions 124 scale 1957 Chevy Nomad. It's a NASCAR um, stock rod. Um, so it's fictitious. They didn't actually run this. But Sterling Marlin, actually he's from here in Tennessee, um, drove, he actually drove this paint job, not on this car of course, but on a um, adult beverage um, sponsor. But when Racing Champions was doing these, they could not put adult beverages on die cast, so this was considered a kid's toy. Um, so it's not on there. So the hood opened, hood opens, a nice little engine in there. Very nice, Nomad type deal. They also um, did a 164 scale. They actually changed. They used a different wagon. They didn't, you would have thought they would have used the Nomad, but they used this. Uh, concept type nomad more like a dodge front end than anything to me hood opens but it's got the nomad rear end cool little piece though same sponsorship type deal we'll go ahead and show you these other nascar stock rods that were um released hopefully i'm talking loud enough i am going to get a microphone thanks to everybody out there that sent me um messages of what kind to get this one here is match light kingsford match light pretty cool piece there and then we have bell south <clears throat> excuse me Joe Nemechek drove this car, not this exact car, but this paint job. And I got one more to show you, which is a Terry Labonte. Had some dental work done the other day, and for some reason my speech is kind of no mouth ain't quite back to normal. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to show those to you. Um, I got a couple other 124 scale. I'm not going to open this one up. This is a Johnny Lightning um, panel. 124 scale panel. Um, it's a 1957 Ford Courier Sedan delivery. This was released in 2010. Under the learning curve brand of uh, racing champions. And here's one I kind of played around with. It made it into a, like a Davy Allison deal. Put the 28 sticker, Tex Row. Got that Coke Cola on there. And the WF Customs over the rear wheel well. And then. I gotta refix that decal there. It, I didn't seal it down and it's coming off on me. So I'm gonna have to. I tried to get away with not clear coding it, but I should have. And then one last one. This is a 118th scale. This actually was from the 14th annual um, High Wheels Convention, Collector Convention in California in 2000. Woody wagon. Doors open. Pretty detailed inside. Both doors on both sides open. Very cool. Hood opens. Looked in there again. Looked up in there. Look at that murk. Then. Look at the rear end 
and a little surfboard comes out. I think it's connected. Anyway, the surfboard moves around. I think there it is. The flames on it. I had two surfboards on it. There's another slot inside where they go. But uh, I've always liked this wagon, L. Woody. And then fairly detailed chassis. Anybody want to take a say I saved the best for last? Looks like the dual exhaust goes into a small little deal there. Very cool, very composable wheels. Turn back and forth. They're real riders. They're actually spongy. But there you go. That is the Wagon Wednesday for this week. And uh, thought I'd just show these off. Just kind of do these on the fly. Um, last week I uploaded it early. And I apologize to anybody who was waiting until Wednesday morning. I tried to schedule it. And it didn't schedule it. Went ahead and loaded. So I just went with it. So anyway, it came up, went up a little bit early. Um, I know it was Wednesday in like New Zealand, Australia. So it was Wednesday somewhere. But uh, yeah, found some, uh, I haven't really found much. Has anybody out there found the, um, this isn't wagon related, but there is the uh, Christmas uh, set from Walmart with the uh, um, carbonator in it and the fandango i've been looking for that set can't, i've been to five walmarts here in this area and cannot it doesn't even look like they've ever had them so i don't know where they're being found but i'm not finding them um i did pick up something else cool i'll show you you know it's not a wagon um found these motor max cars are pretty sweet chevrolet pickup truck you know, ten bucks for them. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do a custom on this for the place I work, and uh, that'll be fun. And uh, I did find this one. Found this five pack here. Um, very cool. So keep it back to wagons. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, more to come. Gonna be off the week of Christmas, so I'm hoping to do a bunch of videos. That week and kind of stagger them so I can release them and relax a little bit. But thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everybody who was watching my videos and tuning in each week. And uh, got a little teary eyed in the last video I did with a package from my mom. Just happened. It was for real. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But anyway, once again, I'm saying bye. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment below. Man, I wish I this was mine. <laughs> Take it easy.